go time. time. My, My name, name is Todd Grisham. Next, Next to me is Johnny, Johnny Nelson. Nelson. You tried to give me the Here comes Red. I beat a wow a couple of days ago. So they stare at each other. Then we're off and running between these two really accomplished fighters. Let's see how they come out. We want an action and they are delivering. It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Counter punching for both these fighters. He threw the hook, didn't land. Perfect 
counter shot. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's better shape. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. So a certain amount of punches. Caution being thrown to the wind. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. That left hook just missed. Swing and a miss with that left hook. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Still for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. You can't get that right hook. This fighter is certainly not going to outgrow the right hand by any means, but they will when they get to be a lot harder. I've seen certain fighters that can be hard. Oh, man, this is good shit right here. Shit. He got out of the way that right hook. Very competitive <laughs> round with, with 10, 10 seconds, seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know they've got the advantage off. Here we go to the fourth round. Coming off that fantastic huh? last round. Let's see if you can keep your momentum going. You're fucking kidding me. That guy him win that last round. That has to be a fucking joke, baby. That counter scores. Nice exchange here from the bold men. Nice job landing that left counter punch. Swinging a miss with that hook. Big Daddy in trouble. Didn't wait long to get back and get engaged. Good counter punch. Counter-punching for both these athletes. <laughs> this is certainly an aggressive but that doesn't always mean success. Many times have you seen a fighter chase a superior athlete around the ring and just get picked apart even though they were the one pushing your team. Sometimes you can have a fight and the best way to beat them is to give them what they want. Because they want to get there, they want to understand that, tell the tone of them, and have a tell. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out to This has been a very competitive round between these two. This round can go either way. Ten seconds to go. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? <laughs> that was almost a 10-8. There's the belt for round five. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Golden white chain Excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Because you've got a good team, doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for this point there. The eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try to put them skin and go for speed. Left hook miss. Step back for just a moment. Back 
and forth they go, neither fighter willing to back down. Not a lot of punch out, but thought there might be more action here. I've been in some boiler fights. I know what it feels like. You go to the island and rock because there's a lot of pressure, especially when you hear a boo in the crowd. Damn it. Especially when you hear the music on them. Especially when you can hear a pin drop. It means they're thinking, we're bored. You can tell he's stronger, but he's not fast. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Good left hand when it lands. I promise you, all three judges are not good men. Round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. The body, frustrating. Take your mind off the chin. Take your mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body. Use tactics. Sometimes you start to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. Not a lot of punch out, but I thought there would be uh, some more action here. You hear that old player's second win. You've got to find it somehow. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help them to, to, to knock them out? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym, you can do it in a fight. They've got to These two were made for each other. I thought that was the end, but here we go again. Back into the fire. Neither man really defending themselves. <laughs> that punch lands. You'd like to see more jabs. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. See if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not to the senses of a comeback. Punch, counter punch. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when he catch you. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. They figure out the combination to this game. Big hook throw, and it doesn't connect. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's got a match made in heaven. The old adage is, no matter how much speed you've got, timing beats speed. Let me just say to you, a fast fighter, a fast fighter that's got hand speed and forward. They're relaxed, they're confident, they know they just have to get a quick burn, boom. In a split second, they get a four shot score. Their footwork has got them out way. These guys are so relaxed, and that's why they can maintain it all the way through a fire. Very close round. 
down with 10 seconds to go. With the left arm, good, good job. job. Well, it's, it's no, no secret, secret who has the job. I'm telling you. And there's the bell for round eight. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Fantastic punch. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations and they throw them non-stop. You've got to do, Tony, it's anticipation. You've got to wait. You've just got to throw a portion of the wind and just hope. You're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You've just got to put it in guess. Nice counter. Got to let your hand go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. He's been showing exceptional chance, by the way. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Energy and endurance are not an issue for this fighter who continues to be aggressive as the rounds wear on. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there, they want you to stand there, toe to toe with them, and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you got to do is you got to frustrate as they set their shots. Get out of the way! And they get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. Ten seconds to go. Beautiful counterpunch. He is down big time on the scores. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every Let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's in the car. Put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. you got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him up. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your back is gone. He knows your head's not clear. Be sharp. Counter left. There's a counter shot. <laughs> you can tell he's stronger, but he's not faster. This fighter is certainly not going to outthrow you by any means, but they will when they hit. It's be a lot harder. You've got to be courageous when you're getting in there with someone bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to be brain there. Very close to He shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out to him. Exchange here from both men. <laughs> They got him up 88 to 83. I don't believe it. Shit, dude. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. Now this is about 
desire. This is my character. This is what I want. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Quit fucking running, dude! So why don't you draw the first blood top? That's what you've got to look at. If you're there, you know you're never going to find it. You've got to be honest. You've got to be confident. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. You've seen in the past in this fighter, they don't get concerned when they lose some of the earlier rounds because they know they've got that power that can strike at any moment. You don't fucking you run the rest of the damn fight, dude. All over the place in this one. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so, so easy. The line is beautiful. I said, stop, just stick it. Okay, I'm happy. I like that round. Good work, you thinking great. Don't forget the jab and don't get carried away. Think about the chance to remember what you did. Seconds out as we get set for another. This is the 11th. We've entered the championship rounds. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next. <laughs> and he misses with the left uppercut. Jab. That counter shot lands. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect them. You've also got to get your shot shot. They forget. You can buy two. They exchange punches. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Just missed with that hook. So close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Looking to land the hook. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training Been chasing y'all damn night, dude. It boils down to who's going to have more endurance. What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system. Throw a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. <coughs> Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. As long as they don't get complacent, and if you think this is too easy, if they keep the same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Look at him, he's absolutely knackered, man. He's knackered. He's fight. Don't let him get that confident. He's going to be stressing about his gas tank now. Keep watching.
Do you literally have to, uh, take the whole damn round every fucking round, dude? Come on. The referee calling. I don't give a damn what them fucking judges say. I beat his ass. I don't give a damn what they fucking say, dude. It was no argument, no discussion, no mistake. It was so obvious. To okay. One sixteen, one eleven. Come on, man. Shit. 